Hi guys, Novi here with the Test Bench. This time I'd like to go through the article I wrote on doing your in -flight, using in-flight adjustments to get your initial PID values. Now what this is going to do for you, for those who haven't read the article, is it's going to help you figure out what the p-values you should be using for your pitch and roll axes are, at least to start off with. And what that does for you in more detail is, is it gets you about 90% of the way to what would be a good tune for your particular quadcopter. Once you're done with this process, you'll be able to go out to the park, you know, fly, and put your goggles on, fly FPV, and not really have any worries about it misbehaving or melting an ESC or anything like that. I mean, heck, you don't even have to touch the PIDs at all after this, but uh, for most of us, that it's, it's a good starting point, and you can, you can, you can do s some small minor tweaks uh, after you've flown FPV for a while. So, <clears throat> to start off with, you need to set up your transmitter so that uh, you have a three-position switch bound to channel 7 or 8. Uh, I've done 7 here and uh, I did on the Tyr Tyrannus. I wrote a pretty detailed guide on how to do it on the Tyrannus in uh, the article that's linked below, so go check that out, pause the video, and, and do that right now if you haven't already. Let me go over what I have on my desk real quick so you're, you're familiar with that. Uh, I have my quadcopter plugged in with a USB, and that, that connection is powering my uh, RC receiver. I can tell by the light being turned on. If that's not the case for your quadcopter, you'll need to plug in the flight battery to it. Make sure you remove your props if you're going to do that. I also have my Tyrannus sitting next to it uh, turned on. So let's go ahead and connect to the quad in clean flight. Uh, we'll go to the receiver tab and verify that yes, it's talking to the Tyrannus. That's good. Uh, I'll flip the three position switch that I bound to channel 7 and we'll see how that works. You can see AUX2 moving there. Great. Uh, you'll want to now verify that if you put the switch in the lowest position, it's the lowest value, 900, that's great. And if you put it in the highest position, it's the highest value, 2000, that's great. Uh, if that's not the case for you, you'll want to go into your transmitter menu and reverse the channel. Alright, so that's actually set up. We're going to go to the adjustments. First thing you're going to do is enable the top two adjustments. Pick the channel that your uh, three position switch is on. For me, that's two. Uh, we'll check and see that that's correct. You can see the little green nub moving. Uh, that's exactly what you want to see. So now you're going to pick the range. For this one, you'll flip the switch high and you'll make that green range encapsulate the green nub. A little bit of side play is great. Uh, then you'll flip it down, the switch down that is, and you'll make the green range cover that down switch. Perfect. So you're set up there. Now you pick the uh, setting you want to change. We're going to start out with the pitch P adjustment. Later we'll do the roll P adjustment. You're going to pick that for both of these. And then you're going to pick the channel that, that, that's uh, making the application. Now if you're curious about any of these settings and how this all works, you should read the documentation on in-flight adjustments. You don't need to do that to uh, follow these instructions. They'll get you this, through this whole process and you don't need to ever read the documentation at all. <laughs> but if you're interested in, in how this is all working and maybe you want to make some rate adjustments or something with these in-flight adjustments, you should go read that documentation. It's a great tool. Uh, to have when you're when you're setting up your quadcopter initially. All right, so once you've got these these in-flight adjustments set up, uh, first of all, go ahead and switch your switch to the middle position because as soon as you hit save, you're gonna turn on the adjustments and you don't want them to start adjusting right away. So click save and let's go to the PID the PID menu to record your PIDs and and test out this feature. So. The way I like to record the PIDs is you can just write them down on a notepad. I like to save them to paint, so I did hit print screen, open up paint, there you go, done. Easy. Uh, let's fit, let's check, check uh, the in-flight adjustment, see how it's working. I'm going to flip the switch down. I'm going to go down to refresh, and look at that. The, uh, the pitch value is decreasing. I'm going to flip the switch up, keep hitting refresh, and it's increasing. It's exactly what we want to see. Now you put the switch in the center, nothing happens. That's perfect. The way this whole process is going to work is you're going to take off and hover. You're going to flip the switch up. The p-value is going to slowly increase to the point where it's unstable. And then you're going to stop increasing and land. You're going to go to your computer. You're going to check to see what that pitch value is. And you're going to half it. And that's going to be your starting initial value. <clears throat> all right. One other thing we want to do before we, we go outside is we want to half all these values. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You just want to do the roll and pitch, I'm sorry, not, not the... Uh...
this will just get you a better tune. Uh, go ahead and click save and let's uh, unplug it and go outside. All right, so we've taken the quad outside. We're gonna lift it into a hover, flip that switch up, and we're gonna pitch the quad back and forth on the pitch, pitch axis alone. What you're really looking for is to hear a vibration, and once that happens, you're gonna hold it in the hover and then wait for the vibration to occur again, then it's quickly land. So you're starting to hear it now. Make sure you flip the switch to the middle as soon as you hear the oscillations. Now let's go to the computer. All right, so what I do is I bring my handy MacBook Pro outside with me, and I have the USB cable ready to go. Uh, I don't unplug the power at all. I keep the quad away from me in case it wants to fly off or anything. I plug the USB uh, cable into the quad, and the first thing you want to do once you get inside Clean Flight is go to the PID tab, uh, note what your PID value is for your pitch P gain, and write it down on Notepad or on a, on a piece of paper. Once you've done that, reset it to half the original value, which I believe is 2.0 on Betaflight these days, but you should have written that down. And then go to the in-flight adjustments like I showed you, and change the uh, pitch P adjustment to a roll P adjustment. Uh, hit save, and let's go fly again. All right, now that we've got the roll set up, we're gonna go ahead and take off again. Do the same procedure, except this time we're gonna sway in the roll, roll direction and just wait for the oscillations to start. Really pay attention to the noises here, that's what you're looking for, is the sound of the oscillation. Alright, so let's go back to the computer again. So same procedure, hook your quad up to your computer, go to the PID tab and record the roll value. Now this time we're going to take both the recorded roll value and the recorded pitch value and we're going to half them and then we're going to stick them into your quad. And then finally restore the I and D values for both roll and pitch. So now you've got default I, default D for both roll and pitch and you have your new adjusted P values for both roll and pitch. Those adjusted values are, again, one half of the maximum value that you got while you are doing this in-flight adjustment, uh, and the maximum value being that value where the oscillation started. So once you put those values in, click Save, and let's go to the in-flight adjustments tab and disable those adjustments so it doesn't change while you're flying. So once you've done that, let's go test fly this tune. You can go ahead and take your quad to the park right now and fly at FPV, or you can just do some flips and rolls in the front yard to see how your tune is working out for you. Pay attention to the flips here and see how, how quickly the quad will stop the flip, but there's not really any oscillations. It's exactly what you want to see. It's a very good tune, actually. It just needs, as, as I said before, some IMD adjustments. So that's it. You've gotten your ballpark tune in less than 10 minutes. Congratulations. Hope this helped you guys out. Consider subscribing if it did, and cheers.